under assault right now. It's not alarmism. It's not exaggeration. This type of weather modification puts out chemicals and toxins, some known, some not known. Many people who try to debate this issue, if they ask you why they should believe this is going on, we have film of it happening, end of the argument. That's it. There's no debate, no discussion. This is not speculation. Also indicative of different materials being expelled from different portions of the aircraft. So again, this amounts to weather warfare, period. The U.S. has historically engaged in weather warfare around the globe. This is historical fact. We have data going back to Vietnam, 1968, Project Popeye. Uh, 1976, UN passed resolutions forbidding weather modification in wartime. So again, this is not speculation. We, have, we live in a society that's been trained to shut down when they hear the word conspiracy theory. They've been conditioned pretty well. But the bottom line is this, is, this is the issue that can't be ignored any longer. People can ignore Kennedy, people can ignore false flag events like Vietnam and even whatever happened on 9-11, but this issue can't be ignored. In, in the North State, for example, we took variants of different planes, the different configurations of spray apparatus. This is an ongoing experiment. There's likely many different configurations. We see aircraft trails that have different color composition so this is an ongoing experiment of which we are all a part like it or not more configurations obviously there's a whole lot of planes with a whole lot of tanks doing a whole lot of something so this kind of footage should not be ignored clearly these are what would appear to be passenger planes most of them with windows so uh, there appear to be many different types of aircrafts involved in the spraying activities this is what we have again global geoengineering the ever-changing experiment and we are again part of that experiment Russian scholar warns of secret U.S. climate change weapon. We have Russia engaged in this as well. We also have China. And this is one of the reasons why it's so hard to get any sort of mainstream coverage, because the big players are all involved up to their eyeballs. So uh, that, that's one of the reasons the uh, media coverage is so sparse, but it's coming. What do weather weapons do? They wreak havoc in countries without anybody knowing they're even under assault. In the case of floods, droughts, all of this is a form of weather weaponry and weather warfare. And there is no arguing that we are all a part of weather warfare and our climate is being impacted the way it is right now. As well, here in Northern California, this is horrific, it all is, but we discovered the plans to burn up Northern California. And I'm going to go uh, into that a little bit because these are similar plans that are um, being orchestrated globally and in your areas as well. So when you hear me talk about California, I don't want you to think about this as being a California problem. No, it's all of your problems. All of the reports that we have include taking over control of all resources globally. And the United States is in the crosshairs of the biggest lie of global warming and climate change. It's most important fundamentally for everyone to understand climate change has been the capability of controlling the weather. Now, I did um, a recent program on uh, climate change and I referred to a document that uh, we found out of John Hopkins University and Phillips uh, lab. And it's an old document. It's not even new. So for those of you that are on the fence about the uh, intensity of ability to control the weather, uh, you really need to...